show you how to install Windows Me in VirtualBox. So let's begin. First, download VirtualBox. Link in the description. Click on the blue button that says New, or press Control N. Command N on Mac. Give your VM a name. I'll name it Windows Me. If you're using a VirtualBox 7 like I am, it should automatically set the version to Windows Me. If it doesn't, select Microsoft Windows for the type and Windows Me as the version. Select the amount of RAM. The default is 128 megabytes, but I'll make it 256. For the virtual hard disk, set the disk size on the VM. I'll leave it as 4 gigs. Click Finish. Click on the orange button that says Settings, or press Ctrl S, Command S on Mac. Go to the Storage tab. Click on the blue disk icon. Click the blue disk with an arrow, then click Choose a disk file. Navigate to your Windows Me ISO file. Link is in the description. Click OK. Now, click the green arrow that says Start. Navigate down to Boot from CD-ROM and press Enter. Press Enter to start Windows Setup from CD-ROM. Unallocated disk space. Navigate down to Yes, enable large disk support, and press Enter. Press Enter. Do what we did last time. Then it will format the C drive. Press Enter to run Scan Disk. It will then prepare the GUI portion of the setup. Click Next. Choose where you will install it. I will leave it as is. It will then check for disk space. Choose your way to install it. There's four options. Typical, Portable, Compact, and Custom. We will choose typical. You can choose to install the most common components or choose which ones you want to install. I will install the most common components. Choose a computer name. I will name mine BVM. You can also choose a work group and a computer description, but we will leave them. Select your country. I will choose Canada. Time zone. I will choose Atlantic Canada. It will then create a startup disk. It's ready to copy files. Click next to begin. It will then copy files. Once it's done, click restart now. Press enter to boot from the hard disk. It will then initialize its driver database, set up any plug and plays you may have, and set up your hardware. Enter your name. You can type in your company too. Click 
I accept the agreement. Enter this product key if you have the ISO in the description. If not, you'll have to find one. Click finish. Click restart now when prompted to restart. Press enter to boot from the hard disk. Once again, it will set up any plug and plays you may have. Then, it will set up control panel, programs of the start menu, windows help, application start, and the system configuration. When prompted, click restart now. Once again, press enter to boot from the hard disk. Type the name you entered earlier and type your password if you made one. It will update system settings and send you to the desktop. And there you go! You now have Windows Me installed on a VM. Thanks for watching! If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!